Hello everyone, and welcome to Earth's Mysteries. In today's video, we will take you on a journey around the world, to five ancient cities whose origin remain a mystery. There is no doubt that ancient civilizations had knowledge beyond their time, knowledge that modern man lacks today. They were able to design and build structures far beyond their physical abilities and the tools they possessed. We would be hard-pressed to reproduce the ancient pyramids, and we have no idea how they were constructed. The ancients had knowledge that we don't, and it's only a matter of time before we figure out how they achieved their impossible feats. They were knowledgeable about life, the universe, astronomy, higher mathematics, magnetism, healing, and invisible forces, among other things, and their encoded knowledge is conveyed in symbols and signs that can be found around the world. Number 1, Puma Punku Located in Bolivia, Puma Punku is considered to be one of the most enigmatic places to visit in South America. This ancient megalithic monument, constructed by the Tiwanaku culture around 500 to 600 AD, has confused archaeologists and researchers for decades. Many have tried to explain how this remarkable site was erected without the use of advanced technology or tools. A lot of people firmly reject the idea that the Tiwanaku culture was solely responsible for constructing the Puma Punku site. Instead, they assert that an exceptionally advanced ancient civilization that lived in the region during ancient times was responsible for this megalithic structure, thus challenging established historical beliefs. The puzzle of Puma Punku revolves around how early human civilization was able to transport these massive stone blocks over a hundred kilometers from the quarries. The biggest question is, how the ancients managed to precisely cut these large stones thousands of years ago, engineers and builders from all over the world today cannot answer or replicate these achievements. Another mystery of Puma Punku is the connection of the walls, each stone is machined and interlocked with the surrounding stones and blocks, fitting together like a puzzle without the use of mortar. This accuracy is believed to have been achieved without the use of advanced tools and sophisticated technology. However, their structures, elaborate design, and the precision of their markings show us a sophisticated ancient civilization. The megalithic stone block discovered at Puma Punku measures 7.81 meters in length, 5.17 meters in width, and has an average thickness of 1.07 meters. It is estimated to weigh approximately 131 tons, making it the largest stone block found at the site. Megalithic monuments resembling those found in Puma Punku have been discovered in various parts of the world, including Asia, Mexico, and Egypt. It is unclear whether these structures were constructed solely using stone tools and without the use of the wheel. There is a possibility that ancient civilizations may have used other technologies that are currently unknown to us. Number 2, Dirinkuyu a true marvel of ancient engineering. In 1963, a resident of the village of, Malakapi in the, Cappadocia region, tearing down a wall in his house, which, like all in the region, was dug into the rock, he was surprised to discover a mysterious room he had never seen before. This room led him to another, and then another and so on. In 1969, archaeologists began to study the underground city and reached a depth of 40 meters. They discovered 11 levels, of which only the first eight can be visited. According to the Turkish Culture Department, the temple was originally built by the Phrygians between the 8th and 7th centuries BC, and then expanded during the Byzantine era. Based on Xenophon's Anabasis, the troglodyte inhabitants of Anatolia dug their houses underground, which were large enough to accommodate an entire family, their domestic animals, and food stores. The underground city of Durinkuyu has all the characteristic elements found in the other underground city complexes of the wider Cappadocia region, such as wine and oil workshops, stables, cellars, storage rooms, dining rooms, and chapels. A vertical staircase situated between the third and fourth levels leads to a cruciform church on the lower level. The 55-meter cylindrical ventilation column appears to have been utilized as a shaft, and it also served as a source of water for washing when the occupants were cut off from the outside world. The city could be sealed from the inside with large stone doors. It also had storehouses, springs and ventilation shafts that were up to 30 meters deep, thus making it possible to stay in them for a long time. The underground city of Malakapi, Meligubu or Durinkuyu, is the largest excavated in Turkey, with a total of 11 levels, although many of them have yet to be excavated. Each level could be closed independently of the others, and the city is connected to other underground cities by several kilometers of tunnels. One of the massive stone doors that separated the subterranean complex from the external world was 1 to 1.5 meters tall, 30 to 50 centimeters wide, 
and weighed between 200 and 500 kilograms. The complex contained numerous traps intended to deceive, isolate, and imprison intruders who, if they fell victim to the traps, would face a slow and agonizing death. Invaders were aware of these dangers and often resorted to poisoning the wells in the area to drive away the local population from their shelters. However, the builders of Malakapi foresaw this threat and constructed wells that did not reach the surface of the earth. The artifacts uncovered during excavations of these underground structures date back to the Middle Byzantine period, specifically between the 5th and 10th centuries AD. Cappadocia boasts an abundance of underground cities, with at least 200 consisting of two levels and 40 comprising three levels or more. They typically include features such as food storage rooms, kitchens, stables, wine and oil workshops, and ventilation ducts. The underground city of Malakapi, with its 11 levels and impressive depth of 85 meters, was sufficiently large to provide shelter for between 3 to 50,000 people and their livestock. Number 3 Baalbek, the most massive stones on planet Earth. Is it possible to believe that a primitive society, using only Bronze Age tools, erected one of the world's most enigmatic cities thousands of years ago? If not, who might have assisted them in carving and transporting the enormous stones? Located 4,000 feet above sea level in Lebanon, Baalbek is a legendary ancient monument with a history spanning over 9,000 years. Originally an ancient Phoenician city, it was named after the god Baal. According to Phoenician mythology, Baalbek was the site where Baal, the deity, first descended to earth in ancient times, leading some to speculate that the original construction may have served as a massive landing platform for extraterrestrial visitors to our planet. Number 4, Teotihuacan, the place where the gods were born. Teotihuacan, an ancient Mayan city located approximately 40 kilometers northeast of modern Mexico City, is considered the largest and most significant pre-Columbian city in Mexico. Despite little being known about it until the 1920s, Extensive archaeological research has since been conducted, revealing a thousand-year history of this once thriving metropolis. One of the defining features of Teotihuacan was its impressive architecture, including residential complexes, temples, large plazas, courts, and palaces of the ruling class, nobility, and priests. The urban ritual space of the city is regarded as one of the greatest pre-Columbian achievements in the New World. Additionally, Archaeologists have discovered the extensive use of a mineral found 3,000 miles away in Brazil, embedded in many of the city's structures, housing complexes, temples, and along the roads. Since 1987, Teotihuacan has been included in UNESCO's list of cultural monuments, highlighting its significant historical and cultural importance. Number 5, The Ancient City of Carol. Carol, an ancient civilization located in the coastal region of modern-day Peru, is considered one of the earliest and most enigmatic civilizations to have ever existed. According to historians, Carol developed one of the earliest forms of communication using cuneiform writing. Archaeologists believe that Carol was one of the most advanced ancient civilizations on Earth, having built circular pyramids, plazas, and complex staircases thousands of years ago. The complex pyramid at Carol covers an impressive area of 165 acres and is one of the largest in the world. The Carol pyramids are more advanced than the ancient pyramids of Egypt, and the main pyramid found at Carol is almost the size of four football fields and 18 meters in height. Over 5,000 years ago, the not-so-famous ancient Peruvian civilization developed advanced methods in agriculture, medicine, engineering, and architecture. Their knowledge and achievements have left today's researchers puzzled with many mysteries to unravel. Carol's engineers were astonishingly advanced in applied technology and earthquake resistance on their constructions, over 5,000 years ago. Moreover, the ancient civilization of Carol was adept at energy exploitation and fluid mechanics. They harnessed the wind, using the Venturi effect, by channeling it through underground ducts into their structures. Researchers have found that the ancient inhabitants of Carol used willow, which contains the active chemical component of aspirin, to alleviate pain such as headaches. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also, feel free to leave a comment below with your thoughts on the topic. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.